What is up, my dear subscribers? This is Mike Kelgu, and today I'm gonna bring to you guys a sixth generation single battle against Gale Maniac. And this battle is actually gonna be really, really close, and it's gonna come out of the wire. I was, I, I was in a very bad position, and actually came back pretty well. So this one's gonna be a really, really nice battle. So stay on till the end. So yep, as I said, it's against Gale Maniac, and this team is actually the same team I did use in my previous single Wi-Fi battle, and it really works out. And I think the next two or three battles are gonna be with this team because. All the battles I've had in this team have come down to the wire and it's been really really good. So yep, looking at my team, I do have the uh, Mega Kangaskhan because if I have the Kangaskhan, it's obviously going to be Mega. It's not going to be the Gengar, it's going to definitely be the Kangaskhan. And Tremlin is going to be my defensive wall, my special defensive wall, carving my defensive wall. Talonflame is going to be my physical attacker which has the Sky Plate. And Greninja is going to be my Scarfer and my... Uh, the Gengar is going to be my Spectre. So yeah, looking at his team, threats. Major threats is probably that Breloo. But if I have my Tanflame alive, I should be able to count that really, really well. Is Meva is most probably Mega, unless he's not going to carry a Mega. But yeah, most people do carry Megas, except a real tiny bit don't. So yep, Meva is going to be his Mega. He has a shiny Delphox. How cool is that? And shiny Delphox, I really didn't know what it was going to do while going to Smash. I didn't think it has to be... A big threat because I did have his Scarf Greninja and then uh, Kingdra maybe a big maybe a threat. Roserade obviously leads Toxic Spikes, that's what they do. And Starmie is just for spinning and I do have Tremlin and Gengar have a double wall double blocking spinning thing. So yep, that's how it's gonna be. So hope you guys enjoy this match. Without further ado, let's get straight on to it. Alright, so I'm gonna decide to lead off with my Grand Ninja, and he's gonna decide to lead off with his Roserade. So straight away, I know all the Roserades can do is set up Toxic Spike, and I can get up my Stab with Protein Ice Beam, and hit it really, really hard, and maybe even take it out. But it actually doesn't do as much as I thought it would, but I'm not Specs, and I'm actually, uh, timid. So, yep, that's kind of the reason maybe so now I'm just gonna decide just to go with as you may not over predict switch out of there and he's gonna decide to go to Del Fox and that's most probably special defensive wall because he's just going to go into it straight away so most probably now because I switch out of there he knew I'm probably specs or scarfed or something along those lines so I'm gonna decide to go into carving just to take this opportunity to set up my own rocks and to just scout out and see what he can do he's gonna decide to go for future side which I really didn't care about because I knew I can just set up my or stealth rocks and I will be good to go so Stami is actually a pretty pretty obvious thing and I knew I, if I set up my stealth rocks I can go to Gengar and then get off the shadow ball and take it out straight away and I'll get the shift initiative I'm specs and that thing is going to die immediately and he's gonna just do that go for the rapid spin I get my Gengar out of there and I can easily go for a shadow ball and take it out but he goes he has future side up and I'm gonna die immediately and this really put me off a really bad play on my part totally forgot about that should have probably gone and into my Tremlin, but whatever. Now I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna decide to go into my Greninja. I can go for a Dark Pulse and probably take that thing out. He's gonna decide to go into Breloom, and um, yeah, it doesn't do much to this thing. And I was like, okay, probably he's gonna go for a Mac Punch, and that is definitely gonna take my Greninja out. I don't want to lose my Scarfer, so let's just go straight into my Trevenant, and Trevenant can take that Mac Punch, and whatever he wants to hit at me, I can take. But I'm poisoned, so that's kind of bad. And he's gonna decide to go for the Bullet Seed, so that. That most definitely tell me he does know I am the Scarfer set, and uh, because if he knew I was not Scarfed, I could have gone for the Ice Beam and taken him out. So that's really good play on his party. New item straight away, and Trevlin, I'm gonna have to sack it because you know Bullet Seed is going to take me out now. Even if he gets two, that's more than enough to take me out. So yep, now I'm gonna decide to go to Talon Flame just to play offensive. I've lost two of my Pokemon with bad plays, so let's go. Total offensive and take that thing out right now. I'm gonna take a play that will change the game. It's gonna be the Swords Dance. I had to do it. I had to take this risk. And he's gonna decide to go into, uh, into Rose Rage just for Dead Fodder because, you know, Town Frame is too good for this metagame. So, yep, I'm gonna decide to go for his Swords Dance as I said. And now Brave Boy is going to wreck this thing. No chance of surviving it. God, get out of here, son. He's gonna decide to go into Sami just probably to think maybe he can take this hit but no way get out of here son this is brave bird death way too much to it it just takes it out straight clean that thing is too powerful that town is too powerful for this game like i said he's gonna decide to go into meanwhile and now i was like okay maybe he's gonna go for his sucker punch because mega meanwhile can hit the sucker punch he's gonna go for the intimate he has intimidate i'm at minus i'm at plus one only now and i can 
Maybe my Flablets won't take it out, so let's just go play it safe. Let's go for the Roost in case he does go for the Sucker Punch, but in fact, he does go for the Iron Head, which, because I lose my Flying type, doesn't do too much, and uh, now I can go for the Flablets. I was hoping he doesn't go for the Sucker Punch, and most probably he doesn't have it, and Maywell is going to die. So now, I can probably kill one Pokemon, only, what well, this is probably going to be the last Pokemon I can kill because it's going to be a Kingdra and I don't want to take any risk by going for the Roost. So I'm just going to take that Kingdra out of there because that thing was a threat and the only thing which can stop it on my team was a plus two uh, Talonflame, but I'm plus one, but whatever, it still kills. And Talonflame, the monster, I was losing like, what, three, four, three, no, six, three, and now I'm winning uh, two, three, so that's really, really nice. So now he's going to go into Delphox and... He told me he doesn't have any attacking moves. I think he did tell me that, did he? I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm gonna decide to go with Mega and go for the return. I do want to lose poison damage. And as uh, I said, I didn't know what it can do. And I'll, it did so fast reach that. So I was like, okay, maybe I will be faster than it. And I can take it out of the return because I do not want to take a risk by going for the fake out because I do lose toxic damage. And Kangaskhan will have to take the. Uh, Breloom out. So now I'm gonna decide to go into my carbing just because it does have the rocky helmet and fake out from that range may not take it out and I've already attacked before so fake out will fail. So I'm just gonna go with carbing and with rocky helmet, two or three rocky helmets should be able to take Breloom and then Kangaskhan should be able to come in and take it out with a fake out. So this is gonna look this is really looking nice for me because he's gonna get hit by Rocky Helmet and now Kangaskhan can just come out and finish off with a fake out. So that was the game. Guys enjoy it. Okay, leave like reading, comment and subscribe and if Game Maniac has a channel, definitely go check it out. So yeah, make sure to sign up, peace, rate, calm, subscribe, and yeah, leave your FCs down below. I haven't said that in my last two videos. So yeah, leave your FCs down below and I shall add you all, all of you who leave your FCs down below. And checks two out for recording this amazing battle and uh, yep, uh, yep, show him some support, leave a subscription. And yep, make sure to sign up, peace, rate, calm, subscribe. Bye-bye. Peace.